everybody it's me Stacy here at scrapbooking made simple and it is time for our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 334 it is a technique class no doubt about it we are gonna be we're gonna be die cutting we're gonna be playing with beautiful papers I've got some amazing deals for you today that just kind of landed in my lap <laughs> So I'm excited. We have spellbinders for you today. Well, we have actually spellbinders, we have Sizzix, and we have Scrapbooking Made Simple. So we have spellbinders, Sizzix, and Scrapbooking Made Simple, and we're gonna be playing with dimensional doily dies. So say that three times fast. We have spellbinders, Sizzix, and Scrapbooking Made Simple playing with dimensional doily dies. Ta-da! <laughs> So what are these dimensional doily dies? Oh, they're gorgeous. They really are just beautiful. They are from one of the main designers at Spellbinders, Becca, who has Amazing Grace Papers. I think that's her blog. And she does pretty. She does elegant. She does sophisticated and beautiful. And I think that you will find that that's exactly what these dies are. But when you see them in their packaging, you're gonna maybe go, hmm, didn't know it would do that. And actually, when I looked at it the first time, I said, I don't need acorns, I'm good. Because <laughs> that's what the dyes look like to me, like you were gonna be cutting acorns. I'm like, fall is over. <laughs> but wait, <laughs> one, you'll see why I thought they were acorns, and two, you'll see how great they are once you put them together. So, definitely a technique based YouTube because the dies not they do more than than what you think there's many combinations that you can use with them so whenever you're buying a product you're hoping that it's going to do more than one thing because you absolutely want to get your money out of it then spellbinders added in a couple wonderful products that we're going to be able to offer you we have a free gift if you buy the I want it all and um, I think that in totality of everything from Spellbinders, you're just gonna go, oh, oh. <laughs> I almost feel like saying, what? No. <laughs> For anybody who follows Forky on Disney, <laughs> you'll know what I'm talking about if you watch the little Forky shorts from Disney. <gasps> what? No. Yes, Spellbinders has got some really great stuff for you. But then I also have from Sizzix their opulent paper. Now, last week in 333, I the YouTube 333, I brought out the rose gold and the charcoal opulent papers, and they are stunning. You get five different specialty papers in each pack. There's a glitter, there's a mirror, there's a brushed metal, there's a matte and there's a pearlescent. And then you get 10 sheets of each of those five styles for 50 sheets each. And we brought out the charcoal and the rose gold first because I had negotiated this a long time ago. And when they got here, there was some blemishes on them. Now, more like scratches than blemishes, a couple little dots, but it was enough to warrant saying, hmm, what do we do? And and Ellison said, well, we can repackage everything for you so that, you know, that, that there's none of those little scratches or blemishes in there, or we can offer it to your customers at a great price and they let me choose. And of course I took the great price and you obviously agreed because it sold out in a day. Crazy. So I thought I would be doing the gold and the silver opulent paper in March because it was scheduled for a YouTube in March. Turns out it shipped in at the same time as the charcoal and the rose gold. So those little scratches, uh, there's still, you know, there's still maybe some in the, the uh, silver and the gold. So they offered me the same deal this time. And I said, well, shucks, absolutely. And I mean, if you know anything about Becca's dyes from Spellbinders, you know they work beautifully with mirror paper and specialty paper. They just are absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't want you to be overly concerned because I will tell you, there are packs of this paper that have no problems at all. And 
at the worst we've found has maybe been three sheets out of 50 from a pack, but at the price, the price you are not gonna wanna pass up. In addition, the Spellbinders dies are limited. We only have so many of Becca's dies to go around. So, if you are thinking that you want that gold and silver paper pack, and I'm gonna show them to you, and we still have a few just of the rose gold left, just the, play, the rose gold, not with the charcoal. If you're thinking you want any of the Sizzix paper, any of the phenomenal, wait till you see the pearls and the bling I have for you from Spellbinders, or the dimensional doily dies, just pause me and go place your order now. If you watch this YouTube and you decide that the product is not for you, you can always call to cancel your order now. <laughs> right after the YouTube, just give us a call and say, no, I don't want it. And that way you can go back into stock for somebody else. But I am pretty positive that this is all going to sell out, especially because this gold and the silver paper is stunning and it's even more beautiful when you pair it with the spellbinders dies becca just knows what she's doing when it comes to pretty and elegant and mm, yes <laughs> when i saw what it made i went mm. <laughs> is that wrong <laughs> okay <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna i've got winner winner chicken dinner to talk about and then i will bring over some of the really um the the opulent paper because here it, here it is and it's in a two pack i'm going to open up the two pack so you can see it we're doing what we did last week we're bundling the gold and the silver together and you're gonna get it at a phenomenal price and i will show you oh my gosh it's really really just absolutely gorgeous so we'll show you that and um, let's talk winner, winner, chicken dinner first. Are you ready? Okay. So this is from last week and you have won uh, a pack of the specialty paper from last week, the rose gold or the charcoal. I'm not sure what you're gonna get, but you've also won a stays on ink. Congratulations. And it looks like maybe a Tim Holtz embossing folder or two. Wahoo, could you? Now, who's our winner winner for this week? Well, there's two of you because we always give two away. And you do have to go to scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Look for the link that says winner winner chicken dinner and follow the directions and we will get our prize out to you just as quickly as possible. I know the girls shipped, I think, 25 prizes out yesterday. <gasps> Happy mail coming. Happy mail coming. <laughs> okay, who's our first winner winner from YouTube number 333? Oh, okay, I can now, I can pronounce this one easier. Let's, let's start with one I can actually pronounce. Vanessa, hello, Vanessa, Vanessa Bridge. Vanessa, is that you? Are you our winner, winner, chicken dinner? Is that a wahoo ka -choo? I think it is. I think you're gonna be so happy with what you get. Oh my gosh, it's a great prize, but you're not alone. We have got Carolyn. Finseth. Finseth? Carolyn Finseth? Hello, Carolyn, is this you? Is that your name? Did I say it even close to being correct? Oh, well, if not, doesn't matter because you're a winner, chicken dinner. You're a winner, chicken dinner. Wahoo, cut you for you and Vanessa. So Carolyn and Vanessa, congratulations. You have 30 days from the original air date of this YouTube to claim your prize. And I'm just very, very happy for both of you. And last week, our winner, winner, chicken dinner was on our live chat, which was even better because then everybody's going, woohoo! That was really a lot of fun. So today, Spellbinders, Dimensional Doily Dyes, done beautifully. And some value product from them, which is, I think, where we're going to start today. We're going to start with that value product so you can see. And yes, I know a lot of you are already going to know this. So this is going to be quick and simple and just a refresher and maybe an introductory to some who didn't know you could do some of this with the value product that we have for you. Then we have the amazing Sizzix paper at a amazing, an amazing price. And yes, we do have all of it. Um, so if it's something that you want to take advantage and I would highly recommend you take advantage of that Sizzix paper. I will never get this deal ever, ever, ever again. 
I mean, like I said, there's a there's a red phone at the Ellison factory down in Lake Forest, and that red phone's got my name on it. And whenever it rings, they know, oh, Stacy's calling. I wonder what's wrong. But there was nothing wrong. It was just a matter of figuring out the best way to bring it to you because I think this paper is stunning. And if you're okay with a few little scratches here and there, and especially when you see how we die cut it, you're never gonna see them, then save, take advantage. And um, otherwise Ellison's, they were gonna, they're gonna re repackage it and pull out those two or three sheets that are kind of meh and put in two or three new sheets and then you'd have to pay full price for it. And gosh, I was thinking by the time by the time it comes back in stock, you'll probably be out of these packs ready to go on new ones anyway, right? Woohoo! <laughs> so it's a win, win, win for Spellbinders, Sizzix, Scrapbooking Made Simple, especially if you're gonna be using it with the dimensional doily dies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today, and it is so good to see you. Oh my gosh. All right, down we go. Let me bring over. Well, you know what? Let me bring over before I... No, let me let me start where I normally start. Don't 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 try and reinvent the wheel, right, Stacy? Do what you normally do. All right. So, let's go zoom 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 down down down. Zoom. All right. So, this is one of the free make and take sets going on downstairs right now well not right now because we're live chatting at 8 a.m it starts around 9 30 once the youtube's just about over beautiful right how gorgeous is this so dimensional doily die is it or spellbinders value add spellbinders value Scrapbooking Made Simple and Stampendous Stamp. But if you didn't like the yellow and you wanted to come do this in our store with me, because I host the free in-store make and takes on Saturday, come spend your time with me. We also did it in the pink. Uh-huh. Spellbinders, Dimensional Doily Dye. Beautiful. Beautiful product really pretty look at that rose in the center no we didn't make that so this is our free in-store make and take that we do every Saturday every Saturday it's a different one and there's usually a different technique and I need to let you know we don't make like, like you actually have to die cut this when you get here this is not a uh, uh, we do it all for you and you just tape it down. No, you have to do the stamping. You have to do the die cutting. It's important because this is the way you learn. And being that it is completely free, you don't have to bring anything with you. Not paper, not glue, not scissors, nothing. Just come and have a good time with us. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. All right, so I'm going to put those off to the side. And I think I'm going to start with the bling from Spellbinders. So Spellbinders has offered us beautiful sheets of bling and they do, they come packaged. So they do come packaged. Pearls and the rhinestones. And we're able to offer them this is $3.99 regularly and we have them for $1.50 and this is $4.99 regularly and we have them for $1.50. Look at all the sizes you get. But did all of you know that you can color these? We sell colored pearls and colored bling in my store. We do have them. Is it my most favorite thing to have in my store or online? No. I just as soon sell you sheets and sheets and sheets of the clearer ones or the plain pearls and show you how to color them. That way there's no waste at all. Now, in the past we've always used Copic markers to color these because we carried Copics. We no longer carry Copic anymore. The price just got too high for us. But I also always told you that you could use Bic or Sharpie markers. 
So Bic or Sharpie markers. Now, first things first, I am not selling this pack of markers. No, I got this at Sam's Club. They had them on clearance. There's 46 markers on clearance for, it was under, it was $7, seven under $8, right? So if you have a Sam's Club, holy smokes, or maybe you can go online. But what is a big marker? A big marker is just like a Sharpie marker or stays on ink. It's a permanent marker. So I'm gonna pull these out. And a permanent marker or a permanent ink like a stays on or an alcohol ink is meant to color non-porous material. Well, what are these? They're plastic, non-porous materials. So let's open it up. Oh, there we go. Open it up. Ooh, so pretty. I don't even know what colors I want to play with. Um, gosh. Mm, that's, that's a fine line. So you've got fine, well, they sold them fine line on one side. I think I'll use red and I'll use pink. And I love this color. Oh, they just make my heart happy. Okay, let's let's see what happens, right? So I picked a couple colors, which means you could go to Sam's Club, you could go to Staples, you could go to Walmart. Almost everybody sells Bic or Sharpie markers, and it is an alcohol-based ink, which means it dries like that. Just like stays on, when we used stays on last week, it dries like that. So if I wanted to color these, all I have to do is literally color the top, go around, and boom. I have now made pink bling. Bam. Changed my white to pink. Easy to do. So do you have to buy a whole bunch of pink bling? What if you only needed a couple in this color blue? What if really all you wanted was three? Can you do just three? Well, sure, why not? You only have to do what you're gonna use. That's why I like clear so much because you can color them as you need them to the colors that you need. And because this is a permanent marker, the color does not come off. No, it's meant to color non-porous materials. What if I wanted a couple in red? So if you're working on your project and you need a little something something to finish it off, but you don't have a, a whole collection of different colored rhinestones, and you don't necessarily want to go buy a whole big thing of red rhinestones because maybe you're not going to use them again till Christmas, but you just needed one or two just to add that little finishing touch. Okay, Sharpie or Bic markers, and you are good to go. Give them a couple seconds to dry. And then off they go and down they go. And I have now created a beautiful blue bling without having to buy a ton of blue bling. So easy for you, really it is. Couple Sharpie markers, couple big markers at your local uh, Staples, Office Max, Walmart, Kmart, Target. Everybody sells them, but I'll tell you the best deal, that deal from Sam's Club was amazing. So $1.50 gets you an entire sheet. 
that you will be able to use forever. So if you like the clear bling, I would pick up several sheets because they never go bad and you only have to color what you're using at the time. But same holds true for the pearls. Let's do some pearls. What if you wanted a pink pearl? Will the pearl still, the pearl, the little iridescent still come through? Sure it will. And maybe you use pearls even less often than you use bling. Will they still color? Absolutely. And that, that luster of the pearl will still come through. So let me get these colored, all three colors. So you can see. Talk about a savings. Using something from the office supply market mixed with something where you only have to color what it is you want to use. Talk about a savings. There we go. All colored, ready to go. Give them a minute or two to dry. Oh, see, I didn't get all the way, all the way on the edge of that one. I need to go back and get all the way on the edge of that one. But give them not even a minute or two. I mean, it's it's an alcohol-based ink, so it dries super fast. They're dry. Then you can take them. and pop them off your sheet and pop them onto your card or your layout or your mixed media or your altered art or your sneakers or whatever it is. If you're gonna put them on your sneakers, use a little extra glue to put them down. You can decorate your banner with them, whatever you were doing. But you are not by any means left with just, you don't have to use them just as ivory or kind of white pearls. No, make them to what you need them to be. Just remember you have to use the right ink, which is an alcohol-based ink, which is a permanent-based ink. So Bic markers, sharp, Sharpie markers, Copic markers, I would not use Copic. I mean, we did, we used Copic, but that's a waste of good ink because Copics are expensive and this will do the exact same thing. Um, so Bics, Sharpies, Copic, Spectrum Noir, who makes an alcohol marker? Do you have an alcohol marker? Gosh, you might even be able to take Tim Holtz alcohol ink, dip a little bit into a paintbrush and paint them on because alcohol ink is going to color these too. It's really up to you. But Spellbinders has given us these for a phenomenal price. And when you have options, you take them. <laughs> Now, maybe you use red pearls all the time and you want to buy a full sheet of red pearls. I still would buy these and color them because they're only $1.50. <laughs> oh my gosh. So easy to do. So for those of you who already knew this, all right, I'm moving on. But I just wanted people to see that you can start with something so easy, so clear, so basic, and with the right tool, just make it something so not basic and cost effective. Super important. All right, so I'm gonna move along. Then I wanna talk quickly about the uh, opulent paper because that's what we're gonna be using today in the um, the YouTube with the Spellbinders Dimensional Doily Dies. Now, as I said, it, there's a, a mirror, there's a mat. Do I have a glitter in here? There's a glitter. There's a pearl. And there's a brushed gold. Or a, a yeah, I want to say it's a, I guess maybe a, uh, what are we gonna call it? brushed metal yeah 
So, five different types of fin specialty finishes. Same with the silver. Same with the silver. Silver, let's see if I have all the five in the silver. I don't know that I do. I don't have all, oh, wait, wait, wait. I speak too soon. So in the silver, I've got a mirror, I've got a mat, I've got a pearlescent, I've got a glitter, and I've got a brushed. So, five different finishes, 10 sheets each. So in each pack, you're gonna get 50 sheets. There, we're only selling it in the bundle, so between the two packs, you're gonna get the 100 sheets. And again, it's at this price because one, it, it, it has just the, the smallest little scratches here and there, maybe. Maybe a few little small blemishes, but on the majority of the paper, like 98% of the paper in your pack, you're not gonna see anything. And, and many of you will see nothing even if you look really, really, really hard. Um, there could be a few little dings and dents in like the mirror, but that's pretty typical to this kind of paper. So it's more about the scratches that we were looking at. And Ellison, bless their pea pick and heart Sizzix, they offered to repackage all of it for us. In fact, this wasn't supposed to be released until March on our, or we, we weren't gonna use it until March for that YouTube. But um, they said, nope, go out, show your customers, tell them how fabulous the paper is, how beautiful it is, and let them enjoy it. And again, my guess is by the time that they remanufacture it all, you guys will be about out of it and ready to rebuy it anyway, because <laughs> you're going to love it. So if you want it, you need to go place an order for it. It is limited. You're gonna get both packs. They retail for $19.99 each. So you're gonna get both packs for $19.98. So instead of $39.98, you're getting both of them, 100 sheets of paper for the unbelievable price. And there was still just a very few left of just the plain rose gold from last week. So I've now shown you the value things with the exception of one other item, but I'm gonna wait for that. And we're gonna move on to our Spellbinders dies. So let me bring out the die that I'm gonna play with today, which is the Starburst Petal Doily. Now, do you see why I thought they were, they were acorns? To me, that looks just like an acorn, like a fancy acorn, but it is so not an acorn. Now, how do these dies work? Well, they're easy, but they give you a lot of options and you really have to let your mind kind of explore those options when you're using them. First off, it is a solid die. So that's not three individual pieces. It cuts three individual pieces, but they put them all together in one die. So you just put your paper down, send it through, and it's gonna cut three pieces. To make what we're going to make today, you need to cut this twice. So you need six individual pieces. And you're like, but Stacy, there's a hole in one. One of these things ain't like the other one of these things. No, it is, it, it is not like the other. This one has a big old hole in it. Well, there's the piece that fits in it. Now it looks just like the other ones, but why did they do that? Why did they give you one with a hole in it? Wait, I'm gonna show you. So this is where we're gonna start today, is playing with the Dimensional Doily Dies by Spellbinders. And to start with, I think I'm just gonna use, ooh, see, I did the, oh, okay. So I knew I liked that color. <laughs> oh yeah, that works. Okay, so I have this and I might even have a red. I'm gonna start with just plain paper. And this is just plain 80 pound cardstock this is from the Sizzix pack that we sell where you get the 80 sheets. There's 20 colors, 80 sheets for a value price. So that is from that pack. And that doesn't have anything to do with the specialty packs that we have on a super great value. But I am going to, I'm gonna cut this way. And I'm going to cut this way. 
So I took a piece of eight and a half by 11 and I cut lengthwise because that's going to give me enough to cut two of these. And because I need two of these to make what I'm going to make, it works out perfect. Now I still have this little guy on the side and I'm gonna put him over here. Now what you just heard is me hooking him to my gotcha. So this is my gotcha tool. It is a magnetic piece. It is a magnetic stand. It stands up and it holds all of your dies so you don't lose them. Now it will hold probably, gosh, it holds a good 10 dies easy. I mean, you can stack them. The magnet is so big and the magnet goes all the way around the front of it. It's not magnetic on the side, but it's magnetic all the way on the front. And this was uh, patterned after the Spellbinders main attraction tool, which we carried, but it was just a little too small for me. And it was this very odd shape that trying to ship it was almost impossible. So I went to Spellbinders and I said, I, I have an idea. I want to do my own and I want it to look like this. And I want it to be this big and I want it to be able to lay flat and I want to be able to ship it. And I want the magnet surface to be much bigger. And they said, oh, sure, we'll be happy to make that for you. So I think it's really important that when a manufacturer comes out with a really great tool, we didn't go outside of that manufacturer to have another one made. We went to the manufacturer who did the original and said, would you make us one a little bit well, it's more my what I wanted and they said yes so while this is a simply refined product and you can only find it at scrapbooking made simple it's important to me that all of you know that I partnered I had spellbinders make this for me I did not go around them and take their great idea and knock it off somewhere else that would be I, that that that's not who we are so anyway I'm going to start with this right here and I'm going to bring over my Sizzix Big Shot machine and I'm going to slide it over so my stabilizer and my camera doesn't go bzzz. Now, that, that sound effects is required. Can you all <laughs> Now, I'm going to use my multi-purpose platform. Just know that the new machines that are coming out do not come with a multi-purpose platform. They come with a base plate like this and one shim that just sits on the top. No more hinges doesn't matter if you have this multi-purpose platform, you have a bigger multi-purpose platform, or you have the newer base plate and shim. No difference at all. You're going to want to keep everything together, bundle everything together, and put it in your machine. Now, I am using a precision base plate, and this is the chrome precision base plate. Happy day! They just literally came back into stock, I want to say, um, about, oh I, oh, I don't have my watch on. I don't know, maybe two hours ago, <laughs> we just got them back in, which means if we have them, everybody has them. They were out of stock for like forever, but they are back in, and we're excited to be able to have them again. So, precision base plate is important because this is an intricate die. Not an intricate uni uh, acorn die, but an intricate die. See all of those cuts that it needs to do? You want to use your precision base plate because it allows the die to kind of bite into that, to that base plate and cut that paper. It just sandwiches it a little bit better so that you get those pieces to kind of fall right out. Now, if you're using your precision base plate and you can read the directions, and then you think you're gonna put your paper and your die, no, stop, back up. Beep, 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 beep. That's my backup camera. <laughs> if you can read the directions, I need you to flip it over. It doesn't matter if you have version one, which is a matte black fin, or is version, no. Version one is like a, is like a black kind of shiny finish. Version two of the precision base plate was a matte black finish, and this is version three, a chrome finish. Makes no difference which one you own. They all are going to do the exact same thing, honestly. If you really need to have the chrome one, okay, we'll sell it to you. But would I rather have you get the dimensional doily dies? Yes, I would, because if you already have this, you don't need the other one, not really. Sorry, Sizzix, love you too. Okay, then my paper goes down, and then my die and then my clear plate. Do you see what's missing? My first clear plate or my do not cut plate, I don't have it. The precision base plate takes the place of one of your cutting pads. And then I'm gonna send it on through. 
and roll, roll, roll. A couple creaks, a couple cracks is no big deal. And if I want to, I can do a quick little rotate, just a little rotate and send it back on through. Why did you rotate it, Stacy? Well, because everybody's machine, whether it be a big kick, a big shot, a platinum, a, everybody's machine that has a roller in it has a different sweet spot. And going back and forth and back and forth in, without moving the die, trying to get it to cut, well, it's hitting the same sweet spot all the time in the same place that you sent it through. You need to move the die a little bit so now the die hits the roller in a new and unique way and is better at cutting. Easy peasy mac and cheesy. So let's see. Oh, where's my trash can? See, this is what we like. <laughs> this is why we have a precision base plate. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm gonna pull these out and I'm gonna do them one more time. Let's pop this guy out. <laughs> okay, and let's roll it through one more time. And roll, roll, roll. So I rolled it through. Now, if I just brought it back in the exact same place, gosh, if it didn't cut through the first time in that place, why do you? It, it, why would we think it's going to cut through again? It, if it, it, if it's not hitting the roller properly, if this isn't where your sweet spot is, going back and forth and back and forth isn't going to be a real big help. But just doing a quick rotate. I probably don't even need to do this, but just doing a quick rotate and bam, you hit the roller in a new way. And again, it doesn't matter whose machine you own. Every machine has its own sweet spot. Oh, there it is. I thought so. See, shush. So I'm going to slide. No, no, I'm not going to do this again. Okay, I'm going to slide this over. <laughs> I'm going to pop these out. There we go. There's one. There's two. And last but not least, three. All right. moved my trash can there better now I know where it's at okay so let's get all the little bits and pieces out of these and you can see the precision base plate makes it super easy to do that and did I mention that they're back in stock they've been gone for a while all right so I've got six pieces here I probably should roll one more time, but that's okay. We'll just play for now. So, remember the one that had the big old hole right here? It cut this one. Now, doesn't that look like an acorn to you, right? It's not just me, right? That cut here. But if I wanted to have it cut the center, in fact, I will. I'll do that too, just so you can see. So let's pull my paper right back over. And I'm going to try with no guarantee, but I'm going to try and cut two sheets of cardstock at the same time to just kind of speed this along a little bit. Don't know if it's gonna work, and I'm see. I'm carefully bringing my big shot over. I'm gonna have to take my camera and get it fixed. I'm just really nervous that they're gonna have to tell me I'm gonna need a new one. All right, so now I've got my two pieces of paper. I've got my Spellbinders dimensional doily die, and now I'm gonna put that little insert piece back in. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna make it the same as the other two. So let's cut and 
let's not necessarily hold our breath, but definitely cross our fingers. <laughs> roll, roll. Oh, the roll is a little tighter because I've got more paper in there. A little tighter. Cracks and creaks are okay. Don't think you're going to harm your machine. The cracks and creaks means that the die is cutting your paper. And roll it through. And now I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to see how well we did. And if I need to maybe send it through. I, you know, I think it's okay. We're going to try. heart happy when you're at home and you're die cutting and your pieces just kind of fall on out so you can see now I was able to put the um, let's find a piece of paper I was able to put the detail in all three of them as opposed to having one that is a solid so that's why they've given you this empty space here if you want to make a solid. But gosh, why would you want to make a solid? Well, let's pop these out and then we'll start putting them together. Okay, this is where, there we go. And let's pop this one out. Oh, it's happy day, happy, happy day. And then I've got all my little pieces and my die can go there, and my insert can go there, and let me get rid of all of the, all the little fallouts that we don't need. So let's clean my table. And when I say clean my table, I mean let's, let's make Mr. SMS's floor in his office look happy, like confetti, like we were all excited for him to come back to work which I'm not exactly sure when that's going to happen. But when he does get here, there'll be confetti all over the floor for him. Okay, so I've cut all my pieces and I've cut more than I need because I wanted you to see the solid piece. But what do you do with all of these acorns? Well, if you notice, they have perforated lines here. There's perforated lines and there's a cut. Can you see that cut piece there? And then there's a cut piece on the top. See, it's supposed to cut there, on the top and on the bottom. And then you've got some perforations. So what I do is I fold on those perforations. And the first one, the one closest to the center, I'm going to fold forward, right on those perforations. So it's almost like a crease line. Then, my second set of perforations, which are right here, I don't know if I can get it to zoom in, right here and right here on these little wings, those you fold back out. So those you just fold right back out again. So you've made this little that kind of goes woohoo, 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 woohoo. Doesn't look so much like an acorn anymore, right? So let's do that again on another one. And I've got my, my first set of perforations, the closest to the design. I'm going to fold that in. And then my second set of perforations, right here and right here, I'm going to fold those out. So they've given you those perforations to help guide you. Woohoo, 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 and remember, I'm supposed to be cut at the top here 
and I'm supposed to be cut at the bottom there. And you're like, but why? Well, we take our other petal and where there's a cut at the bottom, we slide it in to the cut at the top, locking them together. There we go. Locking them together. And then we take another one and we fold all the way in on our perforation and all the way in on our perforation and then we fold out on our perforation and then we fold out on our perforation go and we've got woo -hoo, woo -hoo. and then we bring it over and our next piece here has got it the top is what's slid open and the bottom is slid open on this one and we're going to slide those two in together to lock into place Are you seeing the beginnings of my doily? And it's dimensional because those, those second set of wings stick up. They stand up, right? Is that not so cool? Very easy to do. Very, very easy to do. And so you just keep going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. But what if you had that solid one? What would you do with that solid one? Well, what if I wanted to go every other one solid and then uh, flourished? You know, I do the same thing. My wings go in, my first set of wings go in, and then my second set flips on back out to give me a woohoo woohoo. What if I just wanted a solid flower instead of having the filigree? So the one I'm using today takes six, which is why you cut it twice. So I've got this one and I've got this one and my first set of wings goes in first set of wings goes in, then I fold back my second set of wings on the perforation, and then I fold back my second set of wings on the perforation, and then I lock into place. So this one is cut at the top, and this one is cut at the bottom, which allows me to just slide, oh, look at how easy that was, slide them right into place. Or I could slide this one out and I could slide oh, get in there. Slide this one into place. And I could slide this one into place. And you just keep sliding them until you have all six put together and you make your flower or your doily. So now I'm doing it where it's every other petal is solid and then flourished all the way around. all the way around. But what if I wanted to add, let's 
play with some of these. Let's take out some of the, see, this is where the opulent paper comes in. Ooh, it's so pretty. What if I wanted to take and put a backing on my solids? What if I wanted to add that beautiful gold as my backing? Well, I cut the solids and it's got its wings. There are its wings. And if I fold them back and do the same thing, I could make a opulent paper gold doily. It's got its wings. Woo-woo, woo-woo. But do I need those wings if I just want it to have the gold background, but I want to keep the blue wings kind of open and easy? Okay, this is where my sticky dot paper comes in. Oh, no, I'm not even going to cut it. So, instead of keeping those wings, I'm going to cut them right off. Zoop! Zoop! Gone! Gone! Now, I can take my, my little guy, all folded up. We're not going to open them up yet. We're going to keep them all folded up. And I'm going to take a little bit of my micro dots. So this is simply, simply sticky micro dots that I launched about two weeks ago. So this is my hardest part with my nails, getting them open. Okay. Come on. You know, I'm thinking next time I'm going to leave a little bit of a place for you guys to get them open. Let's see if I can do it with my with my tweezers. Nope, it's going to go all the way through. Oh, Stacy. Oh, there we go. Hee <laughs> hee, there we go. All right. So what I have is a liner that has nothing on it, no sticky at all, and a sheet of nothing but the finest micro dots you've ever seen. In fact, it's hard to see them, which means it leaves no goop, no, I mean, the goop is very minimal. It's not like a, a Xyron where while it's an amazing tool to have, it can leave a lot of goopy and get all over your hands. I want to take and I want to adhere my top piece to my bottom piece. So now all my flowers, all my petals will have that beautiful gold behind it. But how am I going to adhere this? This is detailed and delicate. Do I want to use a wet glue? I, you know, it's just a matter of what makes your heart happy. But if you put your little dot down, your little piece down, and then you burnish it to get some of those dots up and then pull it, you now can layer it right over the top of your gold and cement it down. Now it is repositionable for a time. The longer you push down on it and the longer it sits in the same place, it will go permanent faster. But I still have all the dots that were in the middle of the open areas that I haven't used. So I never want to throw this liner away. No, no, no. I never want to throw this liner away. So now I've taken, and gosh, here I've got a silver. What if I wanted to take my silver and put it on top of my gold and I want my wings to be silver so I take it and I fold my wings in fold my wings in maybe I want my silver on top of my blue oh I want my silver on top of my blue because that mirror is absolutely gorgeous so fold my wings in 
and then fold, fold my wings in, and then fold my wing back out on the perforated. Nope, a little short. There we go. On my perforated. Fold my wing in and then fold my wing back on my perforated. Good. So I've got my woohoo, woohoo. And then I've got my blue solid that I'm just going to cut those wings right off. Say bye bye. Cut those wings right off. And then I'm going to bring my silver back over to my micro dots, open it up, and put it almost in the exact same place. Because it took such little micro dots to get it. And close it up. Keep your wings all tucked in. Give it a little burnish. Peel it off. And then put my blue right underneath and stick it down. Oh, got a little piece of little piece of paper in there. Okay. Done. Now, if I wanted to, I could then take these and start to marry them. Remember, you've got a cut on the bottom here and a cut on the top here. And that's how it's supposed to be because those slits are what allow you to lock them into place. Oh, we got a delivery. Don't know what it is. <laughs> Do you hear it? <laughs> okay, that made me laugh. And I didn't get myself locked into place. Oh, big. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Slide it right down into place. Oh, Stacy. There, slide it right back down into place and start locking your petals in. Now, if you're gonna do more than one color like this, it's at your discretion if you wanna take a little bit of Stacy tape right down in the center here to hold your two little pieces together. But once you've made your entire doily, they do, they kinda just lock right into place Let's see. So I have do I have oh look at this. Look at the I just the, the the glitter is just beautiful. So let's grab another one of these and we'll fold and we'll fold. So you can do your doily completely open like this on all of them. There's four different doilies. Or you can do a completely closed doily where all the petals are just closed. Or you can do a combination of open and close. Or you can use the solid like I'm doing to back your main petals and add that backing to it, that beautiful, beautiful Sizzix paper that has that specialty finish where you're gonna get a hundred sheets <laughs> for a rock star price. <laughs> okay, so let's, I'm just gonna cut this one right off. And I'm gonna cut this one right off. Joop and joop. And I'm gonna bring over my, I don't wanna lose those cause that's the one I'm working on. I'm gonna bring back over my paper Again, put my doily down and I really haven't moved space. I mean, I keep it in the same place because there's so many micro dots on here. Give a little bit of a burnish. Pop it up, grab my gold, marry them together, press it down. Can you move it if you need to? Absolutely. You can reline it up. 
but eventually it's going to go permanent. And then I can take this one and I can slide these two together. in the little slits. Come on. Okay, where, oh, there we go. Get that top one open. There we go. And away I go and I just keep creating but what if you wanted <laughs> what if you wanted it to um, okay I still have this one what if you wanted it to have the blue as the background but you wanted the blue to come through as the little wings. So instead of doing instead of doing this one where my silver stayed my little wings, what if I wanted my blue to be my wings? Okay? Not a problem. I've got my silver top and normally what we've been doing is folding in and folding in and making our little woohoo. But this time, this time I'm going to cut on my silver and get rid of those. Zoop, goodbye. Zoop, goodbye. And leave my wings on my blue, my solid. Remember, we've been cutting those off. Now, Now I take my micro dots and I dot this one. Put it down, burnish. So you get 10 sheets that are eight by eight, eight by 11, eight and a half by 11, 10 sheets of micro dots, which is a really good value. Trust me, if you go shop out there, you'll see that we brought them in at a really good value. And you need to keep that liner on it all the time until all your dots are gone. It's not meant to die cut with. It's meant to put down intricate dies without all the goopy. No goopy, no residue off the sides, no trying to get in there. If you did have a little goopy, just your fingers are an eraser and it's gone. So now, now I have the blue coming forward. And I can take that paper with those five different finishes and a beautiful, just simple piece of cardstock, and I can start to build. So if you want the background to be what's on top, your little extra dimensional part of your doily, well then you cut the wings off the top piece. And if you don't want to see the background wings on your bottom, then you cut them off and you only have to use, you only keep the wings for the top piece. You have so many options. My best advice is to literally sit there and cut a bunch of these and just start to put them together to plain. So here's a backing, a background one, and I'm gonna cut the wings off. Zoop, and zoop, and I've got my blue here, and I want my blue to stay as my extra dimension. So I open it up, put my doily down, Kind of close it up, give a good little press, peel it up, line it up, and 
and now I can put it on the other side. And while my, my um, backgrounds are changing, the blue on my dimensional part of my doily is staying the same. They are simple to use. Truly they are. Once you can get it to slide on in, there we go. Simple to use. And you just keep going. What makes your heart happy? It's entirely up to you. So I could, I could pop, because I don't think it's set yet. Nope, not quite yet. So I could pop these off. Ooh, do I still have one more? Oh, I don't have any more backgrounds. I used them all. Hmm, I was going to make a blue one. But I only, I, I popped off the, I popped off the thingies. That's a shame. I was going to add another one to this and have another silver over here and just keep going. Point is, you've got options. Do you want them to be backed? Do you want them to be easily done and just an open, like we started with, where you just fold in, fold in, and then fold out to make them, and just have them out of cardstock? But I'll tell you, Becca's dies really do lend to this opulent paper. There's no question about it. You gotta have your little woohoo, woohoo. <laughs> and then and then you just build them together. You have options. Remember, this one's got a this one opens at the top on this side and opens at the bottom on this side. So you'll slide them together to start to connect them. So I'm just going to make a random one just because and put all six of them together. It's not going to match and you'll be okay with that, right? So I'm just going to make six of them. Put, I've already got four done, five done, and they're not going to match perfectly. It's not going to be a cohesive little finished doily. So one, two, three, four, five. So let's put this one next. And let's line these up and there we go. And then let's do one more here and line these up. And there we go, in, in, up. Okay. Come on, slide on together. There we go. So now all I'm missing is one. Oh, my background came off. Hold on, hold on. a good press to that one. So now all I'm missing is one. And I'll do it in a silver. I can't have a blue back because I don't have any more blue backs. Oh, okay. Forgive me, but I just have to have it the way it is. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Just forgive me. I'm just going to roll it through super fast without making too much of noise so my machine does not. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to cut one super fast. And because it's in more of an open die than it is intricate, it doesn't even need to be turned. Oh, see, now my heart is happy. So let's do a silver top and we'll cut off the, cut 
that off and cut that off so that most of them have the blue and open my my dots stick it down give a nice little burnish pull it up you're like well why did you have to do one more because i have to finish and then you have to see that we can glue the whole thing down at once too okay fold fold and then back I should have done my folding before I was, I was in such a rush to glue I was so excited fold back fold fold back on the perforated line fold back and then now we have to slide them on two sides to close it up. So let's do this one is going to go down. There we go. And this one is going to go this way. We go all right I've got one woohoo <laughs> now once you get going on these they do move super quickly but I wanted to show you all the different ways of doing it but then of course uh, let's find a piece of paper then of course we have to figure out how we're gonna glue that whole thing down right so how about I just grab a piece of piece of Sizzix paper and let's cut it I'm gonna push all of this out of my way so all you've got is one die that has two different ways of cutting and there's only slits going up and slits going down and they have to meet to slide them together I don't want you to think that this is complicated because it is not. It's very much like when I talk about your uh, multi-purpose platform and using your dies. Sizzix has only given you three options. So if you're using a die, a, a wafer die or an embossing folder, and you try to send it through with all the tabs closed and it won't go through, well, then you have to open one up and try it again. And if it doesn't go, then you open it up and try it again. They've only given you so many options. That's the same with the Spellbinders dies. They have to slide into each other. So there's only one way to put them together. It's just a matter of how decorative do you want to be? Do you want to have it where it's all backed? Do you want to have it where it's all open? Do you wanna have just the backs? Do you wanna have it where the top color is the color of your, your dimension? Do you wanna have it where the back color is the color of your dimension? You have options with these dies. And again, I think if you looked at it like this, you would be hard pressed to understand what you get is this. I know, right? You all are going, oh my gosh, right? I mean, this is stunning, Becca. I understand this is what the die has to look like to get to this, but I think if you were walking in a, in a store and hopefully you have a local store and you saw this, you might go, mm, no. But if you saw this, you would say, holy smokes, artichokes, how do I make that? And then when you realize you can make it a four or five different ways, with one die, well, that makes your heart happy, right? So now how are we going to put this whole thing down? No problem. Cut myself a piece of my Sizzix cardstock here. Open up my sticky dots. Now you can also see why this opulent paper is so 
important, why it is so beautiful, which is why it is at a price that if you pass it up, that's on you. <laughs> I don't think anybody should. I, I, it's just too good of a value and it's too beautiful. Lay it down. Close. Press. Lift up. Yep. Pull. To me they're sticking too good and they haven't set to permanent yet there we go and then down see they haven't set to permanent yet but that's okay you get the idea bam done Ta-da! And you still have so much left on your sticky sheet. And you're going to be able to kind of roll it around in the, uh, in the reflection and see where you've used dots and see where you haven't. I can tell you that there's like no dots right there, but there's dots all the way around it. The sheet lasts for a really long time. Okay, I did it all using little pieces that don't look like much of anything when you put them down. But by gosh, when you put them together and there's four doily dies and they all work exactly the same. They make different patterns, but the concept of how to put them together is exactly the same. And then Spellbinders, if you did the I Want It All bundle, they have these cute little roses. Not that it'll necessarily go with my blue, but maybe it will. They retail for $6.95, and if you buy the I Want It All bundle of the four dies, you're going to get the package for free. And again, no sticky. Come over here. I know I've got stuff on my edges. Grab some sticky dot and right in the center. Ta-da! <laughs> you can do this. And again, it's up to you if you want to take a little bit of Stacy tape because you want your dimensions to stay completely together. You just take a little bit of Stacy tape, eighth of an inch. That's going to be what works. See if I can find where it, there. A little eighth of an inch Stacy tape. Put it right on the center of your dimension. Pull up your liner and then hook them together so they stay taped together so they don't separate. Up to you if you want to do that or not. But that way your doily stays your pieces stay centered. Totally up to you. But so pretty. And it's pretty on its own. It is, I'm not gonna lie, they're beautiful in just cardstock. But I really think that opulent paper makes a dramatic difference. I just do. And we're never gonna get it for that price again. Trust me, I'm sure of that. How do I know? Trust me, I'm sure of that. <laughs> I didn't even know that it was already here. So now I'm not sure what we're gonna do in March, but we'll figure something out, right? All right, so quickly, what did we do today? Well, we started playing with our, oh, oh, oh. And then what if I took these and I added these at the ends what if I added them on the silvery ones? Ooh, at the tips, because I colored them with my blue Bic pen or Sharpie pen. 
Oh, and then I add a little bit of bling to it. Okay, you can't go wrong. So we started by playing with just clear bling that if you take a basic Sharpie or Bic pen, a permanent marker that is meant to go on glass or metal. When you think Sharpie, what do you think? Permanent. Bic too. And you just take them and you just color over the clear and just poof like that. Do you have to use Bic or Sharpie? Well, you can use your Copics, you can use your Spectrum Noir, any alcohol marker. It's just that those are far more expensive than these. And again, I bought my bundle. Sam's Club. Boy, Sam's Club's going to have a rush. Look at all of those colors. And it was under $8. Right? Under 8 bucks. I do not sell this. You're going to have to go to your local Sam's Club, Costco, Walmart, Thrifties, CVS, Rite Aid, Target. I don't where <laughs> Piggly Wiggly. I don't know if Piggly Wiggly's actually would sell these. I've never been to one, but somebody will let me know. <laughs> So, because you can take and color your bling, and Spellbinders has given us the bling and the pearls at a rock star price for you, so that you are able to take and embellish and make beautiful. I could, instead of doing that, I could, oh, that one's almost set. Instead of doing that, what if I took the blue, and let's color a few more in blue, same size. What if I took the blue and good enough. I let those dry for a minute, but these ones are already dry. And I pop these off and in that hole right there. <laughs> love, love, love. And I do them all the way around. And that just that top little hole right there. Love, love, love. Just to add a little something even more to it because you can, because you're not buying a whole thing of blue. You're buying just enough to do what you need. You're only coloring enough to do the project you're working on and then you're saving the rest of them for the next project you want pearls on and you can color them to that color. Maybe you'd need to just leave them plain. You have options. Who doesn't love having options? Oh, love, love, love with the little pearls all the way around. Makes my heart happy. <laughs> so that's the first thing we did. Then we showed you the beautiful opulent paper. From Sizzix. Again, it's a we're selling it as a two pack only. It is limited. You're going to get 50 sheets of the gold and all of the five. You get 10 sheets of all five finishes. You get 10 sheets of all five finishes in the silver. You get it for half price, 100 sheets of specialty paper. Know that, go back to YouTube 333 and take a look and you'll see why the, the price is the way it is. It's beautiful. If you pass this up, it's because you're choosing to. I would not, I would not. I would also not pass up the doilies. The doilies are just stunning. And we do have an I want it all for it. And the I want it all is gonna come with those roses. We also have them open stock. So if you love just one, there's the one we use today. See, what would you get out of that? Wait till you see what it actually makes. And I wanna let you know, these two are not the same. They're the same outer shape, but the insides are different. And yes, each one of them has a piece that's going to come out to let you do the background piece all of them and then look at this one so there's four of them on i want it all or if you just love the one i used you can buy just the one i used or maybe you didn't like them at all and of course if you do the i want it all you're going to get the flowers and let's show samples so 
and then we also have my Simply Sticky Micro Dots. 10 sheets. The, this is wrong because we did it in such a hurry. It's eight by 11, but you get 10 sheets for $9.99. And that's what we were using today to hold everything together. I think you're going to love it. I think you're gonna be really, really happy with it. So let me show you some samples. Okay, so here's this one. Kind of looks meh, right? But this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Beautiful, right? Absolutely gorgeous. You've got pearls, you've got matte gold underneath it. Just lovely. And then, how about this one? This is done all with the Sizzix opulent paper for the doily. And then what's that little bow right there? Okay, again, kind of hard to understand what this does, but this makes that darling little bow right there. And the entire doily was done with the opulent paper by Sizzix at a price that is smoking hot. Just like the bling, just like the pearls, and then the dimensional doilies. We are limited as to how many we have. Then I have this one. Again, me. if you look at the packaging. But looky here. How beautiful is this? And then here, how beautiful is that? And then the last one Elena did and it's stunning. And again, it is using the silver opulent paper. Oh my gosh. So you're using different tones of the silver paper and she just mixed it like crazy. You've got glitter behind this one and you've got matte behind that one and you've got the pearlescent on top of all of them. Elena, this is beautiful. Just gorgeous. And then, <laughs> but wait, we have this one. You're like, why do you need such frilly hearts? Uh-huh. How cute is that? And again, the bow, the bow. Now it's a double bow, the bow, done with this die. But I don't think you'd ever realize that by looking at it and the bling on this. Look at the, just the bling, just simple little bling so pretty but wait <laughs> then we did it on the opulent paper from Sizzix it's just paper and a die and sliding them sliding them together honestly if you can you can do this just slide them together if you, if you can do like this, you, you've got it down. That's it, the paper just slides just like that. If you can do that, you've got it. So pretty. Again, done with a die that is the heart one that's kind of a little, well, how, I mean, it's a little, to look at it, to look at this, I don't know you would ever get to here. And then Elena went a little different. She still used this die, but she did them as balloons. 
and she used the rose gold opulent paper and the silver opulent paper and she used the little bow. How cute is that? Now that's just using them as hearts. You got the little tails coming off with the twine. So this is, a, Elena did this one, super cute. And then we have the one that I was using all day today. That looks like the little acorns. And that's what the make and take was using. But the samples, mm, mm, mm. So here you have just using the blank. You've got the blank here and the blank here and then the open here. And they're all dimensional. The dimensional doilies by Spellbinders. And this is from Becca who, um, who is Amazing Grace Papers. That's her blog. So pretty. And then, <laughs> what? No. Yes, we only used three of them to make the flower go off the top and the bottom of the card. What? <laughs> Love it. And this is using patterned paper as your background. It doesn't have to be cardstock. Absolutely, you can use patterned paper. And here's one using the opulent paper. So pretty. And here's another one using pattern paper and the silver opulent paper. So you've got the purple is actually a pattern paper that we didn't like anymore. But once you die cut it, you can't tell that we didn't like it anymore. And then we backed it in the silver Sizzix opulent paper. Right? Yum. And then used some of them as petals. We used the petals to make leaves. Very clever. Used the petals to make the leaves. And again, would you get that from a dye that looks like acorns? No, but it's stunning when it's done. And here, again, we've mixed the opulent paper with a patterned paper on the top. Let's celebrate is in the center. And then our last one, which I really do need to give a big thanks to everybody who helped with this. This was a labor of love from Jennifer and Nicole at Spellbinders to Becca and then everybody at Sizzix and then my own SMS team that does an amazing job. So, I'm gonna tilt on up. I'm gonna tilt on back. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, okay, you guys, lots to be done with these dies, and you can do this. I promise you, I would not bring it to you if I felt you couldn't do it. You have to know that you are successful with this. And when it's done, it's so beautiful. So if you like the dimensional doily dies, whichever ones you like, great. Buy the I want it all, don't buy the, it's up to you what makes your heart happy. But when you pair it with that Sizzix opulent paper, and then if you're on a crafty budget, get the bling and the pearls because they're at a phenomenal deal for, I don't even know, a, a phenomenal deal for the quantity that you get, knowing that you can change their color to what makes your heart happy. You don't have to buy red pearls and blue pearls and black pearls and orange pearls and pink pearls when you only maybe need five pink pearls for the whole year. Just color them yourself with an inexpensive marker, permanent. Bic or Sharpie. <laughs> so the opulent paper is at a phenomenal deal. And again, go back to 333, YouTube 333, if you want to see the whole spiel about it. But I wouldn't pass it up if I were you. The 
Um, we've got my micro, my sticky, uh, simply sticky micro dots for you. Uh, we've got the roses that come with the I Want It All, or we have some in open stock, not very many, but we do have some. And um, oh my gosh, I hope you enjoyed this YouTube class and I hope you learned something today and I hope you see how you can't judge a book by its cover. You never know what a die is going to make until you really look at the die itself or the sample that they put on the front or the back. Don't just pass it by. If it looks interesting and you're like, well, why would they do that? There's probably a really good reason why they did. Go look at the die itself. And if you have to flip it over to see what it makes on the back, then flip it over. Because it's very rare that a, a, a die manufacturer puts together something like this because they really like acorns. <laughs> guys it's me Stacy where are you gonna find all of this product well you're gonna find the opulent paper only here at scrapbooking made simple we're the only ones who have it you're gonna find the simply micro dots at scrapbooking made simple because they're my brand you may be able to find some of Becca's dies the do dimensional doily dies at your local independent mom-and-pop shop and if you can I encourage that you get them there so uh, scrapbooking made simple scrapbooking made simple.com it's me Stacy I will see you all next week and thanks for being with me today bye